Hi, I'm Nan Simmonson, and I just experienced an eye-opener today, and I thought I'd share it with you. First of all, I'm the author of Aging Powerfully, the point of my book, Powerfully Being, 10 Lifestyle Modalities that will keep us aging and living beautifully. <laughs> and meaning, I follow the College of Lifestyle Medicine. I'm a lifestyle medical coach at a nearby um, medical practice. And I believe with all my heart, it's the mission stated in my book, that if we will follow some very simple precepts of good health on purpose, not following what everyone's doing in our Western societies, especially America, especially our sad standard American diet, we can go on into our 70s, 80s, and 90s. I'm now 70, well, almost 73. I wrote this just before I turned 70. It was my birthday present to myself, and I said I will do this until I'm in my 80s, 90s, and beyond. So, what was the revelation? What, what was the eye-opener today? I always have my own dressing that I put on my salad. I usually use a sort of a Caesar type of a flavor. And I have a number of them on my website, nansimmonson.com, and in my YouTube channel. Well, we were, uh, I used the last bit of it yesterday. My husband comes home for um, lunch every day. We only dine out a couple of times a week because anywhere you eat, doesn't matter where it is, you're going to get more sugar, more oil, and more salt than you really want to put in your food. There's reasons behind that. I could go on and on, but I won't. I promised myself I'd keep this short. The revelation was this. We used a packaged dressing. You will hear me say a lot, oh, I got this at Trader Joe's and that at Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. It's literally three to four minutes, depending on traffic, from my house. I feel very lucky about that. Well, I got, we, I knew we were uh, low on dressing and I got something that looked perfect. So part of the precepts of the College of Lifestyle Medicine for longevity is a whole food plant forward diet. I'm not saying vegan, but it is, meaning no animal product, but vegan means nothing as it relates to whether or not the food is whole food or whether or not it's processed to the hilt. Well, I saw this salad dressing. It looked perfect. Look at that. I think you're reading it backwards. So vegan, creamy dill dressing, cauliflower, almond butter, garlic, cold pressed, whatever that is, cold pressed lemon juice, meaning whatever that is, herbs and shallots. You know what? That rings all the right bells. I thought, okay, that'll be perfect for us. I know better. I read labels. But I guess I didn't, or I didn't want to because I needed something for a salad while I was getting the rest of sort of restocking my refrigerator in a busy day. Anyway, so we, um, he came home, he has an open face avocado sandwich. I usually have an enormous, literally, pound to a pound and a quarter of uh, uh, chopped salad, which includes several kinds of greens. You can look that up too on my YouTube channel. I show my chopped salads and I usually just mix it all up with my um, dressing and my dressings don't have added oil. It doesn't mean there's no fat. That's why I thought this was perfect. They don't say anything about added fat or added oil. They say almond butter. I'm fine with that. I eat my fats with the um, the food that it's supposed to come from, olives rather than olive oil. I don't need to use oil in dressings. I don't have to use it in sauteing, etc. You'll see that in my recipes. I use tahini in my dressings. I'll use cashews to uh, make an Alfredo sauce. And my food's great <laughs> anyway. All right, so we're sitting down eating and I picked this up and I looked at it and I said, wait a minute. <laughs> We don't can't count calories. I know that if you eat a whole food plant-based diet, you don't add oils and you don't pound down hands full of nuts and seeds, you can keep your weight at a good, comfortable, healthy level for a lifetime. At nearly 73, 
I am exactly where I want to be and I seem to stay there even when I think, well, I've eaten a lot in the last couple of days and there I am, same weight. Um, because there's only so much you can eat if you're staying at foods that are 600 calories a pound or less. That's a whole, that's a whole thing. That's called um, uh, 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 caloric density, watching caloric density and Chef AJ talks a lot about it. Go to chefajlive.com. Well, anyway, so I don't count calories, but it kind of tells you a thing about a recipe or a, a dish. For example, for two tablespoons, this is 60 calories. That might not be bad. I mean, maybe my dressing when I use tahini or I use cashews um, is near that. I don't know. Um, but in any case, for two tablespoons, it's 60 calories. Then I looked at the total fat. Total fat is six grams. Let's go through macronutrients. How many uh, calories is in a gram of protein? Four. How many calories is in a gram of, carbo uh, yeah, of carbohydrate? Four. How many in alcohol? I don't drink, neither does my husband, but it's seven. And then you get up to fat and it's nine calories per gram. That's more than twice per gram, carbohydrate or protein. So that means that in this bottle, these, um, the, that two tablespoons, that is 60 calories, has 54 calories in fat. That's like, what is that, 90 something percent? of this is fat. Well, where did it say that on here? It said cauliflower, <laughs> almond butter. So then I looked at the ingredients, which of course I, I do all the time. The ingredients are pretty clean. The problem is first ingredient is water. Second ingredient is cauliflower. Third ingredient is canola oil. And then you go to almond butter and then you go to some vinegar and parsley, sea salt, um, uh, shallots, they're putting those things they said they were, but they didn't say that the third ingredient was oil on here. Why don't I add oil? For two reasons. For 120 calories a tablespoon, it makes something that's a whole food hundreds and hundreds of calories more than it would be. In addition to that, most vegetable oils are so loaded with omega-6 fatty acids that if you're trying to get your omega-3s up, and they tend to dominate the enzymes that break down both of those two sixes and threes, the sixes will win out and your threes will not get digested properly. That's all I'll say about that, but it's a whole thing and it's, it's real. So my point is pay attention to labels, think about what you're eating and why, absolutely look at the fat, multiply it by nine and look at what percentage, because they don't say it here, they say that total fat is 8%. 8% of what? What they consider to be an acceptable amount of fat per day uh, calorically. That doesn't tell you anything because you're not the standard person. And in America, that standard number is much higher than most of us should or um, would want to eat. So what is this all about? I'm going to show you a dressing that is delicious, that yes, has fat in it, but that fat is tied to a fiber. It's a healthy fat with a lot of omega-3s that are available, not sixes, and it's delicious. So what I'm making is an avocado bean dressing. Doesn't that sound strange? But oh my gosh, it's so good. What I began with is this carton of organic. I always use organic when I can cannellini beans and it could have been great northern what what I wanted is a white bean so I have a nice white bean in there they were put into a strainer and rinsed and it's a low sodium but I still rinsed everything off of it then I'm going to add to that some garlic I don't know if you can see all my stuff some garlic, a pinch of cayenne pepper, a little bit of salt, some pepper, and some onion granules. You can use onion powder, you can use onion salt, I wouldn't use onion salt, or you can use onion granules. And they're not real big granules, but I like onion granules and garlic granules more than I like the powder. 
Um, I'm adding to that lime. And in the container of lime, I also have kind of smeared in there some Dijon mustard. So far, so far all these good, healthy foods. Okay, then I'm adding to the lime, and I wanted to show you this. When you squeeze any citrus, especially the smaller ones like lemons and limes, this is a very handy gadget to do it with. But if you don't have a microplane, consider getting one because the essence of a citrus is contained in its um, zest. And the zest is the peel, but really only the peel down to the pith, which is the white, which tends to become and is bitter. So what I did is I took this little lime, teeny guy, this is a little Mexican lime. I made it look like the moon, you know, when you're looking at a full moon. Um, but you zest it before you cut it, or once it's cut, it's too, mm, I'll use the word malleable. It's too bendable um, to zest really well. When it's a whole fruit, it can zest well. But look what I got there. Using my zester, I got the zest that is going to give this quite a punch. And I didn't do the entire lime, and I didn't do it deeply. I just did parts of it. So I wanted to show you that. And you know what? I'll just show you how easy this is. Cut face down and then squeeze it. I may end up using a lot more of this lime depending on how it tastes. Speaking of which, grab a spoon. Okay, then I'm adding to it some fat, which I usually do to my dressings in one way or another, but the fat comes from an avocado. What I did with this avocado is I cut it in half, Luckily, the seed is tiny, which is great. I'm gonna squeeze it out, but that doesn't usually work. Usually, I'll simply take the avocado with the seed in it. I thought I had a knife to do that, but if this were a knife, I would whack it, and the seed will usually, because the, the knife pierces it um, just in a shallow way, it'll pop the seed right out. So I have a full avocado here, and I'm using the entire avocado. And it's just a small avocado, so I'm getting some beautiful fat. Think of the amount of flavor I'm getting from this. And in addition to that, I'm getting a mass of fiber. Did you know that a medium to large avocado has anywhere from eight to 10 grams of fiber? When people say to me, Nan, you've been whole food plant-based for five years. You're vegan or whatever you want to call it, but I'll call it whole food plant-based because if it's not whole food, if it's processed, I really don't want it. That dressing was about as processed as I would get and then I found they put stuff in it I didn't want. Um, meaning that they were whole ingredients except the oil. Uh, oil is not a whole ingredient. It's been, um, especially canola oil and most of the seed oils like sunflower, uh, corn have been highly processed to get to that point. And then I'm adding plant milk and I'm going to see how much I need. I'm going to start with a, a cup and a half. Actually, I think this is, yeah, okay. And I may end up adding more because I like my dressing to be pourable rather than ploppable. I don't want it so thick and it will thicken up somewhat. Anytime you use beans, even or a grain, and I have a dressing, you can look for my ranch style dressing that uses potato, uh, a, a cooked potato. Whenever you use any of those, what's gonna happen is they're going to thicken up. You'll put them in the jar, it all looks nice and liquidy uh, to the degree you want it, and then when you open it the next day, it's much more firm. That's because of the starch in the, that, um, that carbohydrate. Okay, so sorry for the noise. <laughs> Wow. 
I'm going to do that one more time because I want to stir it down. And absolutely, I'm going to make it a little bit looser. I use a unsweetened organic almond milk or soy milk. I get those from Trader Joe's or wherever I am. I love their unsweetened soy beverage. It's organic. I think it's $2.10 as opposed to double that amount at most stores. Um, and it's nothing but soy and water. Whereas you look at most of these, and most of them have all kinds of gums, like gallon gum and guar gum and soy lecithin, which is an emulsifier, which our, um, I'm just gonna leave it at gut bugs, don't really like. If you wanna know more about gut bugs, you can watch my video, week number 16 of my PowerPoints on uh, YouTube. Okay, one more. Okay. See, this was easy. It was inexpensive. What did I use? A $2.19 can. Now, this was $3. A $2.19 can of um, beans. You can get them even less than that. Trader Joe's has organic cannellini beans, I think think for 99 cents. Maybe they're more, but it's not much. Um, one small avocado, you can buy them in packs of five. Um, you can get them at Costco. And um, some plant milk and some seasoning. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'm sorry, I just ate lunch. <laughs> and, and put salad dressing on it. Because this is yummy. I would love it right now on a salad. And my mouth is just alive with that flavor, that little bit of the um, zest of the lime. I can pick that up. Where do I keep my dressings? I keep them in bell jars. I'll fill up another partial one, a smaller one. And see everything exploded and sort of disappeared. <laughs> anyway... I would normally put my bell jar on, but that flat cover is on the floor. But take a look. Mm, da, 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 da. I don't want to pour it out. Pretty green and really, truly delicious. So give it a try. If you like what you heard today, give me a thumbs up. Let's get this word out that the older we get, the better we can get if we take very good care of ourselves. And I talk about the rest of those things in my book, but also all the time on my YouTube channel. I'm hoping you have a great day. I certainly know I'm going to. And thank you for your time. Bye-bye.